the Israeli forces penetrate across the canal into Egypt. By means of a brilliant military move, they push west and south, reach the area of Arabia, and block the entire Third Army, cutting it off completely. The Israeli army now stands 50 miles from Cairo. Where do we really stand now? We stand in destroyed Egyptian villages on the western bank, among death and suffering on both sides, in an area that could have stayed alive, living peacefully with its neighbor across the canal. The Egyptians now hold a substantial part of the Barlev line on the eastern bank. Once again, the Security Council did its job. A ceasefire was dictated at the very moment the Russians realized that Israel would destroy the Egyptian force. Both sides complied. For the first time, face-to-face -face negotiations are begun. It's a dialogue that could say nothing or all. Who knows? For Israel, the first results mean a lot. Here, perhaps more than in any other place or country, Every human life has a name, an address, a job, a family, a home. The prisoners of war are coming home from Egypt. The bakers, architects, accountants, waiters, students, the bus drivers are coming home. Our emotions make us vulnerable to the enemy, but we can't help that. That's the way we are. A man, one man, one single man is our most important, most effective, most precious possession. The talks go on. For how long will there be peace or another war? As we make this film, we don't know. <laughs> 